Some of your thoughts on your performances this weekend? I don't think I did very well because the conditions out here, the wind conditions, but I'll get it next week. Okay. I know, I'm hurt. How, do you, how did you feel on the 400? I mean, you, you looked like you were pretty strong and smooth. I know the time wasn't quite where you liked, but given the wind, were you well, satisfied with it or you, was it something in terms of execution that didn't go quite like you wanted? The, the jump threw me off when they jumped. That threw me off because I got out pretty good on that one. And on the second try, I, did, I, was, I was trying like, to get out of that hard because I didn't want to jump myself. But on the bad scratch, I came out, I was good. Until I hit that, the last hundred, all the wind kept pushing, and I was like, oh. But it is what it is. I've been like practicing so hard to get to on 44 that my coach told me not to really rough by the time because it's going to come. So, uh, speaking of that 44, I know that you know you guys have been gunning that you know for the, at least the past month now or so. Um, how has your training been um, you know, oriented towards being able to perform at that level to be able to bust one out once a time? It's, very, it's been very intense for like two weeks because I've been doing like repeat of 800s and all that. And like it's very hard. I think my legs kind of heavy though right now because all the training we've been doing. Right, and you know, especially with you being from Florida, yeah. it's about six weeks after the state meet. You know, yeah. most kids they had their state meet about like last week or two weeks yeah. ago. So you know, with you being tired, you know, that is a bit understandable. And you mentioned that you're competing in the at, for the seniors, not the juniors. Oh, oh the seniors and the juniors. Okay. Both. And are you gonna do? Are you gonna try and triple again, or just the four and the two? The, the, the four and the two for both seniors and juniors? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of racing. I know a lot. But I train for it, so I work hard, but I bust my butt every week for every day. Tell us a little bit about the last 50 meters of that 200. It looked like you really dug deep to a new level, man. So, I mean, it really wiped you out. And the, the 200 start, I was like, I'm very tired from the 400 because it was like back to back. So I come out, I was like, yeah, I'm, about, I'm just about to jog, just go, just go with the flow. But some energy came in, in me at like the 100, and like it came in, I was like, oh, it's not. So I started pushing real hard, and I got him, but time still wasn't there. <laughs> but you and Anthony have developed a pretty good rivalry in the last couple of years. Yeah. It seems like you don't get to race all the time, but, as, you know, every invitation was necessarily, yeah. but I can tell you guys have a good camaraderie. Yeah, we like brothers because we come from the same, same place, Florida. No, all the goats are raised at Florida. We come out, we compete like most of the time, but it's very fun competing with him. He always pushed me, I always push him. So, yeah. You know, good thing you still have Anthony for another year. Yeah, you know, for you guys to, you know, go at it, especially in the 100 and 200. Yes. Um, yeah. It looked like you were, you know, I know you probably don't know him quite as well, but Hunter Woodall, you know, you gave him a hug and handshake as well. You know, see, see, do you have a kind of a bit of camaraderie with him too? Yeah, I, I look up to him because like, he made it to the Olympics and I wanted to do that last year, but I lost my passport. So I, I, he wanted, he, he's one of my, my idols. Him and Fred Curley and all of them guys. Like, I really look up to him. Okay. I think one day pretty soon you're going to be as fast as Fred Curley. <laughs> yeah, one day. I hope I get him a first round in the point. <laughs> See what he can do. <laughs> All right. So you should challenge him to a race. Yeah. See what he says. <laughs> yeah, you might be racing at home since. Then I got him next week, right? Let's go. Right. Yeah. I hope I get him the first round. See what happens. All right. We'll have to see what happens. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Terry. Nice to for your 400.